last button. Go. There you go. All right, so this, the owl theme of this game is, was made by Cygnosis. Uh, you're going to have to tell me what the hell any of that means. Cygnosis is a company that made weird games and their logo was an owl. Ah, okay, gotcha. I worked with someone who really loved Oshawa, and she had an Oshawa plushie on her desk, and it was weird. Wow, that's Oshawa a shame. Oshawa is really lame. <laughs> that's that's a damn shame. Hold on, I'm just pushing uh, pictures of their logo. All right. Yeah, like this. This was an early concept art of yeah. their logo. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, yeah, I could push like one image a minute, and we'd still be fine. Uh, owl. Respect. <laughs> respect. Does he, what is this? Uh, I'm just gonna have no respect. But the ship is gonna be easy. There it is. Uh, you couldn't find any Generation 5 starter that you liked because Generation 5 sucked. What was 5? Black and, and white? Black and white. I never even played black and white. There was one good, no, I'm thinking of Generation 6. I was sort of out of Pokemon for the longest time until they started Holy making the games in 3D and they pulled me right back in. No, Holojo was X and Y. Yeah, okay. Black and White sucked. X and Y were so fucking good, though. Yeah. Sun Moon was disappointing. I am HO. I am I realize I'm kind of in the minority with that opinion, but... I got like halfway through Sun and Moon and then I never got finished distracted. It. The things I really, really liked about X and Y were just like the bottom screen online interactivity. Where yeah. you were always online. It was always easy to access. Like if oh, I was yeah, yeah. if I was playing, I saw like you were online, I could just be like, ah oh, shit. Oh Beal, you can catch Pokemon better than yeah. for a little while. And just like I love the PR videos and all that kind of stuff. They like cut all that stuff. The out. online stuff in Sun and Moon is so bad. Fucking Wonder Festival, whatever bullshit it was called. And then no one in that game ever stopped talking at you. Get the restraining belt. In the walk five feet and We've just get into another cutscene. units of Aminoxin. Uh, me. He's stabilizing. This is the worst one we've seen. <clears throat> wow, that guy's had a tough time. If he regains consciousness, contact me. Time to push more owls. Owls, owls, owls. I don't even really have a reason why I stopped playing Sun and Moon. I think I just got distracted by another game and never went back. I just got bored because I got to like the fourth island and people were still talking at me like I had no idea what I was doing. I was like, okay, hey, I have better games to be playing right now. Which is weird because not a lot of good games came out that year. <laughs> I think it was probably just Overwatch. That's probably what I got distracted by. Literally all we play now. Embarrassing. Probably played more Overwatch than every other game combined for the last two years. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of glad that like the time played in that is actually just straight up how much time has been played. It's like I don't think the time played starts counting up unless you're literally in the game, because it yeah, says I've only played for like because it only shows 100 to 200 hours. But how much time I've you play as a hero? Definitely played way more than that. Just like sitting in menus waiting for a match to start. Waiting for Jeff to give us a game. Waiting for Jeff Kaplan to pull out some cables operator style and hook us up into another game. Give us Hanamura again. <laughs> this game's been on for five minutes, not gonna lie. I've paid attention to like 20 seconds of it. I have no idea what's going on. I've been pushing owl gifts and complaining about Pokemon. <laughs> From what I understand, it's like a system shock simulator pre-catastrophe. That guy's got a face. Yeah, he does. I've just been letting the intro run. I do hope this is important, Jeff. I don't think you'll be disappointed, Senator. Any 
I think my favorite Pokemon is the XY Aorus generation, just because that's what got me back into it after mm -hmm. like a decade. It's hard for me to not put Heart Gold Soul Silver as my favorite just because of nostalgia, and also that was just an extremely good remake. Mm. But X and Y like was seriously awesome in my opinion. Like if I had to take nostalgia entirely out of the equation, I would say like X and Y <laughs> leagues ahead of everything else. I loved Mystery Safari. Like I'm just remembering about Mystery Safari. <laughs> so dumb. It was so rad. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fall into the sun, is what I'm gathering. And Blastoise in chat is saying something I think we can both agree with. I hate so many things about Overwatch, but I still love and constantly play it. Yeah, it checks out. Yeah, that tracks. It's like my favorite game ever, but some things just piss me the hell yeah. off. It's a game I constantly complain about and then never stop playing. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is the kind of chat you're gonna get when it's just me and Oatmeal while everyone else now. It's just bullshitting about other games. Bullshit about Overwatch. Oh, check that Walker. That's all we play anymore. I played a lot of Wolfenstein last week. Sorry, I haven't played nothing but Mario <laughs> for the past week. Literally, like I, I play Mario on my commute to work, play Mario <laughs> on my lunch break at work, play Mario on my commute home from work, oh and as God. soon as I get home from work, I plug the Switch into the dock, Play it on the TV. <laughs> Odyssey is so good. Like, I don't, you don't have a Switch, do you? I do have a Switch. I am on a limited gaming budget. Totally fair. So I went with Wolfenstein. For sure. Highly recommend Odyssey if you ever get the chance, though. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, Panzer and Dan got a physical cart, so I'm gonna borrow it. Yeah, one. that's the way to do it, to borrow it from them. I get all my games digital, so that's not really an option, but... Odyssey is so good. It's, in my opinion, the best Mario game. Wolfenstein is so good. <sighs> do they do much to change about the fact, like, in the first game, like, you have to walk around and constantly press the E button to pick stuff up? Uh, they did change it a little. You pick up things on the ground automatically, but you still have to pick up things that are on tables and stuff manually. Mm, yeah, okay, that should be fine. It's It works out fine in practice, because pretty much you realize, oh, I need armor, and then you just run over a couple of corpses and mm -hmm. pick up armor. Cool. I played uh, Wolfenstein. Oh yeah, the, 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 the first, I, I don't want to call it the first Wolfenstein because it's definitely not the first. The first new Wolfenstein. First new the Wolfenstein. The first like Stein this year. edgy grim dark Wolfenstein. I picked it up on sale for like eight bucks and I thought that was the right price for it. I am definitely interested in Wolfenstein 2, but not for 60 bucks. I just really love shooters. Is this game finally starting after I, 10 minutes? Maybe. There's more owls. <laughs> Good. Oh, I accidentally closed an owl instead of pushing it. Sorry, whatever owl I just closed. That's okay, we have so much more. All right, we have a right stick. We have... Oh boy, you're gonna die. I think that's how this game is gonna start. You're just gonna straight up die because you can't figure this out. Okay, I move with the right stick or the D-pad. Oh, that sounds about right. Let's make this roll. Let's get a little tiny top hat. Uh, a little tiny top hat. Good around there. You can have a good roll. This one's really round and squishy. Eh. Eh. Oh, can I not do anything with this? Yeah, I'm working Medic. on it. Like, I'm, I'm. I need healing. I'm trying. All right. Looks like, uh... Oh wait, yeah, I have this. Use it on me. <laughs> uh, you yeah. have good luck with that. I'm gonna push some more owls. Sorry, Oatmeal, I will be of no help for you in this game. All right. 
First aid kit. Use on. You. I am with you in spirit, even though I'm also with you, like, literally two <laughs> feet away from you. I have nothing to contribute to this game. Cause I, oh my god, look at his He's face! He's so happy! What the fuck? Give him a smooch. Smooch. Oh shit, hold on. Oatmeal, you remember that gif of the owl in a bowl of water? I sure do. Look at this thing that I'm pushing, a rowlet. Oh, it's a rowlet in a bowl of water. That's a a lot of people like Rowlet. Pretty okay. What are you doing, buddy? You got this. Good bird. More owl facts oh. from Lavender G. Oh, he was not kidding. Uh, oh, do I just lose now? Uh, yeah, solar flare imminent. You're probably gonna die. While you're dying to the solar flare, let me find this post that I just He said the door was going to close quickly. Um, it closed like half a second after he walked in. Alright. Well. I think this is just how I die. Lost the lavender post. Wow, this owl fast. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, kind of, a snowy owl's egg takes about 32 days to incubate. Donate now to help sick kids at Sarch.Club Club, and remember that all donations during the Double Owl Power Hour will be matched by Lavender G. <laughs> Someone's reaction to that guy you said was, "Oh, hey, look, it's an Oblivion NPC." He's on uh, inventory. No. Use the activation key on the activation key. Yes. Use on an item in the room. Oh my oh. god, you have a mouse cursey. I sure do. Jesus Christ. Isolation procedure complete. The activation of the following resources. I mean... This game seems cool, but also like shit. I'm getting an adventure game vibe. That it just kicks your ass until you know what to do. Right. <laughs> do you want me to pull up like a game pack for this or something? Uh, well, there goes my life support. Oh, what's that? Oh, I'm dead. Is that what that is? While well, you're dying, there's a cat playing with an owl. Oh, no, this looks like a scripted sequence. Oh. I don't seem to have a run button. Sorry about the four minutes of blaring alarm and flashing red. <laughs> oh, this is nice. You know what's nice? This Rowlet gif. Oh, hell yeah. I've always wanted to starve to death inside a hedge maze. <laughs> That's the way I want to go. <laughs> starve to death in a corn maze. I'm pretty sure that those of you who are awake right now know this already, but I would like to remind you all that we are doing a donation drive for the Seattle Children's Hospital. And if you donate during this block, you could win an owl. Hell yeah. I forget what the details are about that. I'm I don't, assured that it's not a real it's owl. It's not going to be a real owl, but, but after that, that, everything's pretty much it, up in the air. It's just kind of vague details. <laughs> an owl is going to show up on your door. In some fashion. Uh, also, if you donate $25 over the course of the entire event, it doesn't have to be 25 right now. You can donate 5 now, 10 later, and then another 15 That, that would be yeah, 30 but hey, that'd that be 30 it. but hey, that still checks out. Uh, you would be entered into a draw to win a Nintendo Switch. A Switchy Swag. That'd be fucking kick ass. Right now, we are sitting at... 
$12,703.24, which is wild. We have a $25 donation here from Not A Fish that just says, hoo-hoo. We're really getting into the owl spirit. Speaking of owls, we have plenty more gifts to push. Yeah. Good, because I am lost. Yeah, I'm always lost in this hedge maze for some owls. Aw, oh, this owl's getting a smooch. Okay, I have no menu anymore. I have no cursor anymore. None of my buttons seem to do anything. Oh, gosh. Welcome to Dear Esther. <laughs> God, I never really played. The only one of those kinds of games I really played was Gone Home. Oh, I guess I was just supposed to wander in that hedge maze until the game decided yeah. to do something. Oh, I was dead. Okay. This game kicks ass. It makes a lot of sense. Just throwing that out there. I like that guy on the right with his fucking face. <laughs> Fat face. More owls. I think I pushed this before, but I'm pushing it again. Uh, he asked. Oh, so I bet maybe this I. Owl is ready to rock. Read. Hey. I'm trying so hard to tell you who I am. <laughs> Look. Look. <laughs> Here's my card. <laughs> This is who I am. Please just read my card. Give an object. Uh, credentials. Yeah. Can you put your credentials away? <laughs> what are these? Okay, cool. He's really happy. All right. I'm going to smooch him. Hold on. Oh. Smooch. <laughs> Someone in chat says, I absolutely hate how this game looks. I can get behind that. Yeah, this the game kicks ass, but also it looks terrible. We have been linked to a walkthrough, but honestly, at this point... No, I think we're good. We're mostly good. I'm going to click it out of curiosity. Oh, is it that GeoCity site? It <laughs> it's sure the is. the fucking same website. This is have a website for this game, too? Sentient, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Each member of the crew has one of four basic character types. Dominant, submissive, silly, and serious. Handling the individual should be done carefully, so insulting them is not a good idea. Even a little charm can provide disastrous. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Maybe if I used a little charm on a young lady, I'll get a little action. I'm afraid not. I already tried it. Well, I suppose you'll save yourself a few seconds there. Mass what? Effect, Twice? This is not. I can't help but notice that I gave that guy my credentials and I don't have them anymore. Are you serious? Oh my. Okay, whatever. I I, I literally gave this, this guy my owns, license. This is awesome. Here, this is who I am. I don't <laughs> need this back anymore. <laughs> There are 62 people aboard the ship. Not only do they all fall into four mood types, they also fall into four job categories. As you expect, being stuck on a bucket of bolts is heading for certain death. Uh, there's bound to be a little friction. This game kicks ass. That has no stamp. I want to like experience this game without actually having to play it. Good news about what's <laughs> happening right now. Uh, This is a bad walkthrough because it's like nothing to do with anything we've done. Okay, hold on. Use for, yeah, dream maze. Oh yeah, you totally like. You're supposed to. There was shit you could have done in the docking bay while it was blowing up. Yeah. Like, 
Examine rubble to reveal clothing, which you examine, pick up, and put on. Use the shield activation key to on an active override key. Oh, I did get, I did use the key. Follow the engineer when he opens the door and enters a twisty corridor. <laughs> that I fucked one up. One of two guards will stun you. And then you go into the maze, and it says, complete the maze by either finding the exit or waiting for the required time to expire. Oh. Uh, we are in the sick bay. This is an... Uh, give him your name when he asks and your credentials. Yeah, seriously, you're supposed to give that guy your credentials, I guess. Uh -huh. There are LPs. Oh, man, if there's a good LP of this game, I would probably watch All it. Right. I'm curious now. Oh, oh, the door's open. No, the door's closed. <laughs> I was so close to being free. <laughs> Who are you? More owl facts from Lavender G. Elf owls are not wholly carnivorous and will actually eat plants in addition to their usual scorpions. Donate an owl. Donate an owl. <laughs> Donate an owl. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man, that's the mindset I'm in right now. Donate now to help six, six kids. <laughs> six Sorry. kids. Just six. Just six. <laughs> Donate now to help sick kids at Sarge.club. And remember, all donations during the Double Owl Power Hour will be matched by Lavender G. Yeah, I do have a lot of owls to push. Sorry, I got caught up reading this bizarre walkthrough for this terrible, incredible game. More owls. The chat demands more owls. Drop the owls. Oh, shit. You like Overwatch? Hold on. Here is one with Reaper in it as oh, well. Oh, yeah. I love Reaper and Owls. Reaper is a good, good Owl Boy. Oh, speaking of Owl Boy, here is Owl Boy. That is a game that I should probably finish someday. I picked it up last year and enjoyed it. It was fairly chill, but I just never finished it for whatever reason. More Owls. That is a fake Rowlet among an audience of real Owls. I hope that he remains incognito. I'm going to slowly saunter through the space station. This is My Hero Academia. Parody Owl. Owl Might. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I got it. Oh, man, we got a $30 donation from Indevin. No donation message, but thank, thank you thank you very much for Indevin donating $30. Uh, I'd also like to remind people that we have votes going on for, like, what game we will... I'm not sure when this is going to slide in. Probably near the end. Uh... For the votes. Oh, the finale vote? Yeah, that's the, the last, oh, the last game. That's the last, second to last game. Second to last game. Uh, currently, Haunted Dog's Life has taken the lead with 19 votes. Blues Brother is not too far behind. 15. Army Men is at 14. And Guy Fieri's Return to Flavor Town, 12. So if you'd like to see any of those games, get your donations in. All right. I'm lost again. Do I have a map? But no, why would you? <laughs> That's a dumb question. Good. <laughs> Got it. That's your map. <laughs> Alright, that's that Game button. rules. I need someone to remind... Like, by the time Extra Life is over and I get in my requisite 17 hours of sleep and wake up, I will have forgotten all about this game. So someone please remind me about this uh, in a couple of days. Because I need to check like an LP of this or something. Did the lady say what deck I was supposed to go to? I was not paying attention. I was pushing owls. Well, these doors. Did you actually talk to the lady? I actually I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, and then I stalked her to her office, and then nothing happened, so I left, and nice. now I'm lost. But this looks new. I got good news for you, man. You only had to do five more minutes of this. And then we get another whole hour of vowels. <laughs> if you want me to play one of the games, nah, I'm good. let me know. Uh-huh. <laughs> Owl hour ends and begins in five minutes. Hell yeah, it does. <laughs> now, do you just replay the same two games again? Or is it different <laughs> games? We got different ones. All right. All right. Use. Can't use. Just, 
just keep walking. This game is owl related because it was developed by Cygnosis. <laughs> That's the connection. Like, what else have That's they all we got. Made. Because I've never heard of these guys before. Is there a speed run of this? <laughs> Hold on. I gotta know now. Hold on. What is a sentient? Yep. Speedrun.com. Oh, I'm pretty sure our resident speedrunner studio will uh, answer this before I can. Sentient. Uh, no. There doesn't seem <laughs> to be any speedruns for this game. For some reason, there doesn't seem to be any speedruns of Sentient by Psychnosis. Okay, that door is locked. Can I talk oh, to you? Boy. No, of course I can't talk to you. I was going to try to sleep with that guy, but I can't. Ooh la la. Owls and cats. Man, I'm actually starting to catch up a bit on Alice. So I got a bunch in the back while they kind of like skipped over. There's a good owl that I kind of passed over earlier on. Oh. Man, even Studio couldn't find a uh, speed run for this. Doesn't so that's a world, world record. record. So that like, means whatever time I beat yeah, this Yeah, if you can just beat this game, that's a on record, <laughs> world record. Unless someone else has like an LP that's just happened to be finished at the past <laughs> time. The, the one LP is in <laughs> Russian. Yes, the only LP I found for this game is in Russian. This is world record pace oatmeal. Go, go, go. <laughs> God, I love speedruns. Oh, this is new. I bet I can't do anything this, here, but... What is it? Transdeck 5000? Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, I cannot interact with the Transdeck 5000. Moving on. Oh my gosh, we could move on to the next game. We could. Call us like a minute early. This is how I died. We could just break dance sequence going on here. Wait, no, it is. Yeah, two minutes. We're... Yeah, fuck it. It's not far off enough from the schedule for me to really give a shit. Uh. Well, uh it's 1 a.m. Oh, again, isn't it? All right. Um, <laughs> That's unfortunate. Hollywood Owls. Oh man, we got an appropriate donation. We got six dollars and sixty-six cents from Anonymous. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Good luck with the rest of the marathon. I might be back for the end after some rest. Satan needs to get his beauty sleep. They didn't say the beauty sleep thing. That was uh, something that I tacked on to the end there. <laughs> I like how we just started. Hail Satan! Like, originally it was just like, 69, wow, that's sex number. And then, like, an event later, it was 420, whoa, that weed number. And now it's 666. Hail Satan. There it is. You got that up and running? Did you press all the buttons? I just want to make sure I'm, like, in oh, game yeah, first. Totally fair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're in game. Oh, my God. This is a 2010 game on the Wii. Oof. Oof. All right. So. Oh. Oh. I think I might have missed next. So it's going to say sentience next? Uh, no, it should be fine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, this is fine. You're right. Yep. And then we it just updates weirdly. And then...